Kitaro reverse osmosis water treatment and bottling plant gets its water from Kitaro powerhouse. This water is from the dam and receives through the rocks to the powerhouse. Drainage pipes are installed to collect that water from the rocks and direct it to the, to the existing drainage channels and then to the dewatering pit where this water is pumped out to the terrace. For the plant, a collection tank of 1,500 liters has been installed where the seepage water collects into. This tank has also an overflow outlet whereby when no pumping is being carried out or the bottling plant doesn't require any water, the tank gets full and this water will get out of the tank to the drainage channel through this outlet. At the powerhouse, the collection tank is served by two high pressure pumps. One in normal operation is duty, the other one is standby. These pumps convey this water from the powerhouse to the bottling plant. At a distance of one kilometer and an elevation of 145 meters. Water is pumped from the powerhouse using high pressure pumps to raw water storage tank with a capacity of 5,000 liters. Um, then the water is pumped through the system using a raw low pressure pump. In the line is dosed with chlorine. Uh, then it passes through a sand filter to trap any macro macro particles. From there, it passes through activated carbon, where um, some chemicals are removed, test is added. Then from there, it is added as anticoagulant dosing, uh, which now delays the activity of calcium and magnesium. Then the pH is adjusted uh, through this tank. Then it is added sodium metabiosulfite, it does on the line. From there, it passes through the precision filter, which now goes to the high pressure pump, to tubular membranes, osmosis membrane. After filtration, the clean water is collected in this pipe. Then it is sent to the UV light, where it is sterilized, then stored to the uh, clean water tank, where it is added oxygen. While the rejected water passes through this, this line to the seepage. During aeration, this ozone, oz ozonator is used to bubble the water, whereby it, is, it has oxygen to make it more tasty. And now the water is pumped through here, this line, to the bottom unit. Once the water has been treated, it is stored at the clean water tank and it moves by gravity to the bottling unit. Although we have pumps for funding heat for filling purposes. Before we start filling, the, the bottles are, are washed three times. The first, the first stage, they are cleaned outside by use of normal water. Then they are fed to the machine where they are cleaned twice. The first stage we use water which has chlorine for sterilization of the bottles inside. Then after they have been washed with water with chlorine, we use clean water to rinse them. After rinsing, they are moved by the conveyor to the filling station.
the bottle is filled with water to the required level and then cupping takes place. After that, it is pushed to the conveyor. As the bottle moves along the conveyor, we have a coding machine which puts the serial number, the batch number, and then the bottles are pushed out to the loading bay. After bottling, the bottles move through the conveyor, then taken to the distribution center, then loaded to the vehicle, ready for distribution.